I'm Dr. Anthony Malouf of Eyes and Faces and Cornea and Oculoplastic Surgery in Sydney and welcome to this video on uh, corneal burring. So what does that mean? Well the cornea is the front lens of the eye and burring is literally that, a burr. In fact it's a diamond burr, so why on earth would I run a diamond burr across the front of your eye? Typically you suffer from something called recurrent corneal erosion syndrome and have a, click on the, have a look at this video, click here to find out more about it. But if you've already seen it, you'll want to know why I treat this way. Well, when you have recurrent corneal erosion syndrome, what you want is you want the skin of the eye to stick properly onto its base. And in recurrent corneal erosion syndrome, it doesn't stick properly. So imagine you want to paint a wall. You wouldn't just slap paint on, you would prepare the surface. And when you prepare the surface, the paint sticks. Well, we prepare the base of your cornea by polishing it with a diamond polisher. And when we do that, which is done in the office, um, the skin grows back across and it sticks nicely and voila, recurrent erosion syndrome's gone. In over 20 years of doing this, I haven't had a failure yet, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. So you'll see from these videos following how I polish the cornea with a burr and you'll notice that I run the burr back and forth across the cornea until such time as I'm satisfied that it's been polished. Once I'm satisfied, I put in a contact lens and the patient goes home with drops. It might look unpleasant, but believe it or not, patients feel nothing. Afterwards, it can be painful though. So there are options to burring. Uh, I was taught to use laser treatment and whilst I can use laser treatment, it's much more expensive, considerably more. It requires more, uh, more effort on behalf of the patient and unfortunately has a high failure rate, about 20%. Sometimes we can just treat the eye with chemicals, which I don't like because it has too much um, friendly fire, let's say, damage to the other surrounding tissue. So I use burring because I can do it in the office. It is quick, it is safe, it is effective, and it's relatively inexpensive. So I hope that's all made sense. I'm Dr. Anthony Malou for Vise and Faces in Corneal Oculoplastic Surgery in Sydney, and thanks for watching.